Come on, baby, let's go west, let's go west to the promised land. Take my hand again, load up the car and drive real far. I could play for cash at the Walmart. Don't think twice this time, you know I'm real fond of Oregon. We've arrived in the west coast of Tassie and we're going to be checking out all the beautiful and unique places. And we're going to check out some of the epic mountain biking that they've got on the west coast. There's some trails that just ride along the ridge lines and I am so keen to go and check that out. But first, this place has got my name written all over it. be biased but I reckon that's one of the nicest rivers we've walked along and definitely the best named river. Heading back to the van now for dinner. Who's cooking? Normally I cook everything but Brooke's chosen all our meals this week and I hate cooking from recipes. Well maybe we'll cook together. Oh that'd be cute actually. I'll like butter the buns. Oh you take, and, take the big difficult jobs and, hey. And um, you know leave you the easy stuff. Cooking the chicken. What are we having? Chicken burgers. Chicken burgers, like very easy, basic, literally just like chicken breast in a burger with some coleslaw. Sounds pretty good. I'm getting pretty hungry actually. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Look at all the bees. They're busy bees, they're at work. How did this get here? It's just honey, Barry. This is stealing! What happened? It's in my hair. What bee? It's stuck. Can you help? Yeah. Oh, how many are there? Is there a few? Just one. Yeah. Oh, he's out. <laughs> oh, he's coming for the camera. <laughs> My jumper. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> See you, jumper. Oh, he's in the mic. <laughs> you just told me they don't attack and that you're not scared of them. <laughs> He had a very curious interest and then he got stuck in my hair and then I couldn't get him out and then I was kind of worried he's going to sting my scalp. The smell of honey in there was so strong and it just made me even more hungry. That turned out pretty good I reckon. We'll see you guys tomorrow because we've got a big day planned. <laughs> Morning guys. I realized yesterday we never explained the whole bee thing. Uh, basically since we've been over on the west coast there are heaps of beehives and we both are fascinated by bees so when we saw some on our walk home yesterday we had to stop and investigate. But we're going to continue on the Tarkeen drive this morning and we've got a few stops along the way. I was wondering why the hills up there opened up into such grassy plains and it turns out it's from Aboriginal fire culture dating back almost 42,000 years that left that land cleared and allowed that button grass to grow up there. We've stopped in at Trawada Arch but I think first it's time for lunch because we're both starving and we haven't stopped thinking about those chicken burgers since last chicken night. Chicken burgers, chicken burgers, 
chicken burgers. All right, I think she's lost it. The water in that sinkhole is apparently 20 meters deep, which is pretty crazy. But I like the ferns best of all everywhere we've been the last few days. I was planning to grow some more when we get home, but apparently they take like 30 years to get to one meter in height. You wait in a while. Worth it though. Yeah, it'd be so worth it. Turning off the bitumen and we have 78 k's of unsealed road which we don't exactly know the conditions we've heard it's not bad but that could have been from someone with a four-wheel drive so it could be a very slow 78 kilometers Thankfully the road was actually in excellent condition. There were a few sections of corrugations and potholes, but for an unsealed road, it was very good. And we've got about 30 k's to go still, but we've found a really nice spot to camp. So we've just pulled over and we're gonna finish the rest of it tomorrow morning. What is up, Sleepy? Thanks. There is so much dust everywhere after that drive, look at this. Everywhere in the back as well. I could probably spend all day at this spot here, but we're gonna keep moving. We've got a ferry to catch and we're heading south towards the town of Zeehan. How to get on the barge. Drive up and down the car park looking for bridge. Park at information center, then park in car park. Drive to kiosk and ask is barge operator still in bed or how do you get across the barge if there is no operator? The quickest and easiest way is when you're ready. Park on road and stop at stop sign and press the button. moving. <laughs> it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the movement? Oh god. <laughs> She's pretty um, shaky. Where are we off to? <laughs> <laughs> We're up the it's a river cruise. <laughs> That's what we've paid for. Where are we going? <laughs> he just got us to move about a metre forward because we've grounded the bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to get it to go and it's like we'll see if we actually make tracks now. Oh no. What? I think we're away. Yeah. Yeah, we're away. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to go back for a second. I was like, oh no. <laughs> like all the way back. Yeah, which is like what would be like quick 200 k round trip. Oh. Quite a nice river though, like yeah. up there. Lucky the ramps go over that. I know. <laughs> I 
it. We don't go around on this side. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Have a good one. Oh. The old scraper Reno on the way through. Oh. But we've got some um, seal road. So that's seal nice. Seal on that last. Oh, everyone's coming. Yeah. Queensland plates. Where are you from? Probably Queensland. No, what part? <laughs> New South Wales too. Let's roll. Well, we have arrived in the little town of Zeehan and uh, there doesn't look to be a whole heap going on here. So Brooke's gonna throw together some lunch for us and then we're gonna head to the trails. We're off and climbing our way up through the ferns here. So these trails are some of our bucket list trails that zigzag down along the mountain further up. So I'm pretty keen to get to the top of the trails and start doing some descending. What have we got here? Look at this guy, little blue tongue wizard. Well, not little, he's actually really big. Look at the size of him. He's just laying in the middle of the track. Little dinosaur. Alrighty, I'll put you down. Oh, there was his tongue. You want to show the camera your tongue? Oh. <laughs> Pretty cute. All right, stay off the road, mate. Got a blast. <laughs> We've left the ferns and now we're riding up through this button grass. And we're getting some unreal views of the ranges around us as we climb. Wow, we both nearly just ran over a snake on the trail. I told Brooke to watch out and stop and you stopped right on top of him. He's off. No, he's gonna go off into the bush. Oh, he's kind of coming for you. He's coming up the trail. He's gone. Anyway, continuing on. So this is us just here. We're gonna ride this up here and back down. And look at it weave its way up the mountain there. And then it comes down there. We've had a little bit of an issue with my bike. The pin and one of the brake pads on the back has fallen out. I actually just changed them a few days ago and I've obviously not put the pin in properly or not bent it back into place enough. So I've got no back brakes now. That there's where the pin is meant to go. You can see there's one of the pads that's fallen out. On the front here, you can see that's what the pin is like holding it in. It's basically like a little gray Thing, what looks like there's rocks. We've tried walking back and trying to find it, but just no luck. So, um, yeah, not really ideal. Just gonna have to push on. Look, there we go. One brake pad. Yeah, none. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I was so keen for the descent down, but it's gonna make it not very fun. Well, we've made it to the peak. Now for the very, very long descent down back to the van. Yeah. Should be interesting. No. With only front brakes for me. Yeah, take, take it easy. Um, we got to bounce because it's getting windy and it's getting cloudy cold. and it's 20 to 7. <laughs> but the sun doesn't go down for a while, so we're right. All right. Let's go. Look at this, just a sheer rock face. 
there's no way I'm doing that with no brakes. an update while we're climbing it's not really interesting to the climbing view but I thought I'd give you an update so we're just coming back now um, we've got a while to go and I know what you're about to say to this is boohoo but both our bikes are running out of battery so we've probably got like anywhere from 5 to 10k's left maybe 10k's is exaggerating Julius is down to two kilometers before his battery dies. And I'm down to seven. I must admit I'm on two bars. So I could drop down another bar. But these things are heavy and eco mode does nothing. So our legs are starting to feel it. And I was just saying to Julius, I'm not sure what he did in a past life. Um, because, you know, the brake pads falling out and then now like he's not gonna make it back before the battery dies it's official Julius's bike's carved it I'm on four k's it's dropping faster than the k's I'm feeling I might not be so lucky as well but it's hard to complain with these views oh look at that oh struggling so hard. I think that's rain coming too. Yeah, it looks epic, but oh, I think you. We need to get back. Oh. Yay! Yay! Update views good. I'm down to one k, and I'm worried that rain's coming for us. But we got a bit of downhill, so let's enjoy it. Oh. The rains are here. Once again, beautiful colors, but I'm out and we still have quite the climb to go with the sun well and truly setting or has set, I'm running out of daylight hours. Unfortunately, this is when mistakes happen. But when you're mountain biking in the middle of nowhere where there's literally no other person, you don't have any choices. I just want to show you those pink colours. Spirits are high. Spirits are good. <laughs> How are you going? Oh, yeah. Pretty done. Spirits, maybe not so good. Mine's died. Yours died? Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Oi! Oh, good. We've got torches. Alright. Over and out. All right, we finally made it to the top. See that van. <laughs> oh, 
come here. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good morning. It ended up being a pretty late one last night after we packed all the gear away, made dinner, had hot showers. Um, and I'll have a bit of a confession to make as well. That point in the ride yesterday where I pointed at the map and said, we're gonna go up here. Uh, that wasn't part of the original ride plan that I had. We we're originally gonna do about a 20K loop following the blue loop, but I sort of got enticed by the climb up the mountain and the trails coming down, as well as one of the guys we saw earlier in the week had said how good the trails were. So we sort of squeezed that in at the end there. Um, maybe it wasn't such a good idea. So yeah, we ended up doing, I think 35 Ks over 1100 meters of elevation. Um, so it was a pretty big ride at the end of the day. What are you having for brekkie? Don't judge me, chocolate cake. <laughs> However, adult. it's pretty much morning tea time. Oh, that's fair enough then because we skipped brekkie because we were having a little snooze. And then, so in like an hour or two, we're gonna have lunch. So Say less. it's just like a bit of fasting and then topped off with some morning tea. Athlete. Mm-hmm. I deserve it. <laughs> so I put some new brake pads in, but I'm pretty sure my rotors were contaminated because they were making a horrible noise. <laughs> having a win? <laughs> So then I had to pull it all back apart and wash it all. But now I've got it working again, I'm pretty sure. So I've gone for another quick loop up here just to check that they're working firstly, but also I really wanted to ride that lower section we did in the dark yesterday because it did look quite fun. I've ridden about 5Ks from the van now and I'm just looking over the section we rode yesterday and it's pretty gnarly. Probably should have paid more attention to this sign that we passed. This front hill here was where we first rode to, that's about 5Ks, then up and over the back, over the top of that hill and down there, that was another 14, and then about another 10 back to the van. Oh yeah, it's a lot better in the day. How's the view coming down here as well? Look at that. And then second day in a row, there's absolutely no one but us out here. These world-class trails, no one's riding them. Oh, it's nice having a back break too. It's pretty sketchy coming down the top of that mountain with just a front break. Oh, and then drop it into the forest. I love this bit. Through the ferns. Oh, it's really fast and flowy. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. No one here. Oh, back brake working a treat. We're gonna to head to our next camp, which is just outside Rosebury. And then tomorrow we're checking out Tassie's tallest waterfall. So naturally we've chosen to ride it. The track apparently follows an old tramway, which is why it's sort of been carved out through the hills, as you can sort of see around me. One more spot to show you, but it's gonna have to wait until tomorrow. We have arrived in Queenstown. We're heading up to Mount Owen. There is a mountain bike trail that comes all the way down from the top of Mount Owen back down into Queenstown. But the only way to get to that is with a shuttle. So we've booked ourselves on the first shuttle this morning. Absolutely 
absolutely epic views from the top of the mountain up here. We've got about an hour's ride back into town. So let's go. We're here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Honey, we're here. <laughs> Stop. Honey, I'm, me. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Checking out all of the beautiful spots. Did I say beautiful twice? Yeah. I can't do this. <laughs> big stretch. You're going to say big stretch. You know that's the rules. Oh. What are you doing filming? She's stretching. <laughs> film, film, film. <laughs> 